Oh, we had a really bad wreck right up here. Good morning, YouTube. This is Cruise Man. Just about to head out and head back home. I do have to make another little stop today. I've got to mail my tax payment for income tax to the IRS. So I'm going to make a stop at the post office. So this isn't just going to be a boring ride home. You'll actually get to see me make a couple of turns. Very exciting stuff. Let's not waste any time. Let's start the show. You're probably sick and tired of seeing me leave Einstein's after having coffee in the morning for my routine ride back to the house. So I thought I'd change it up today and go to the post office <laughs> on the way home so that you can uh, kind of experience the exciting and riveting lifestyle of Cruise Man. So if you're new to the channel, I want to welcome you. This is Cruise Man's Garage. I am Cruise Man. Here we do motor vlogs and accessory reviews and installation videos, tips and tricks. A lot of it is Goldwing-oriented content, but not all of it. So I say if you love to ride motorcycles, it doesn't matter what you ride. You're welcome here. And uh, please take a second to hit that little subscribe button down below and if you click on that little bell icon YouTube will let you know when I come out with new videos speaking of new videos I have been working on a video for over a week and it is kicking my butt I am putting together a new video that's the longest video I've ever put on YouTube it's gonna be pretty uh, extreme as far as the uh, it could be over 30 minutes long I've never done that before and it's in 4k so that means it's a huge video file I've considered splitting it up into two videos but I'm not sure if that will kind of ruin the um, effect of the video so be watching for that I'm only about halfway through the editing this video includes dozens if not hundreds of video and photo clips and it just takes a tremendous amount of audio and editing and it's just been a real challenge so I apologize for the lack of videos that I've had on the channel in the last uh, week or so because that's what I've been working on I also am testing I'm in the middle of testing another GPS tracking product and I hope to have that review done what I'm doing is I'm going to use it for a few days because I want to you know see exactly how it works I don't want to give you some kind of a review before I've actually used it so I'm using it right now I'm testing it it's actually on the motorcycle as we speak and I will let you know what I come up with in a few days hopefully before I leave town and as you know I've been talking about for two months going to Midland uh, out to West Texas to see my brother and it's been a challenge getting out of here as I mentioned in my last motor vlog my uh, I'll call her my mother-in-law but it's Ricky's mom but her mother uh, fell and broke a hip and is in rehab right now kind of a nursing slash rehab place and it's really been a challenge for Ricky because she has to be there every day for many hours 8, 10, 12 hours a day sometimes because the place is extremely understaffed in fact they only have one nurse for about about 30 patients I mean it's just ridiculous and I'm sure a lot of this is because of COVID and they lost a lot of staff a lot of nursing staff during COVID and because our government sees fit to pay people not to work they're having a really hard time hiring people because a lot of people don't want to work if they can sit at home and make just as much money or close to that much money sitting at home. 
so uh, that's the world we live in right now and she's seeing the result of it because her mother is in a place where they don't have nearly enough staff there's nobody to help her come in and you know get her mother into a wheelchair or get her help feed her mother or get her to the bathroom or anything like that she's having to do a lot of this by herself or sometimes maybe with one other person and it's just really uh, kind of a sad situation I don't know if any of you have experienced anything like that uh, recently in the healthcare field uh, but the staffing appears to be a problem even the hospital where she had her surgery was severely understaffed so nevertheless that's the situation we're in right now and I am hoping to get a couple other products in here to test and review for you. I'll also be doing a series of, I'm gonna, I, I don't want you to think I've forgotten about the detailing videos. I have not, because I am planning to do a full uh, washing tutorial as well as a ceramic coating tutorial on how to apply a ceramic coating to your gold wing if you want to do a DIY ceramic coating. Now, some of you are already familiar with ceramic coatings because you've already paid somebody to do it on your bike or maybe you've done it yourself. But I have a company that is going to send me a ceramic coating to test and review and I will use that as an opportunity to talk about ceramic coatings and what the advantages are uh, disadvantages what are some of the myths and things that aren't accurate information out there about ceramic coatings we'll talk about all that but if you're interested in those detailing videos uh, let me know in the comments down below also if you're interested to know more about GPS trackers let me know in the comments down below now I will tell you about this I'll, I'll let one little secret out of the bag on this GPS tracker that I'm testing right now. It is 4G LTE compatible. It, it is not uh, 3G. I know a lot of you talked about the Monimoto that I tested a while back, and I found out after I had tested it and reviewed it that it was only 3G capable, which apparently 3G will be going away sometime this year. Now I did mention to you that Monimoto told me that anybody that buys their system after January 1 will be offered a free upgrade to a new... Oh, we had a really bad wreck right up here. Really bad wreck right up here. Oh, I hope they're okay. I hope they're okay. I'd better... I'd better, I don't know if I should pull over and call the police or not. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that trailer just pulled over into that lane. That's why I don't like riding the motorcycle or driving my car next to these damn trailers. They cannot see. And that trailer just pulled right over into that car. And I'll go back and watch the video in fact, I'm going to turn around and let the driver know that I've got this on video. I believe I'll have it on video, and I'm going to let him know if he needs a copy of this video, I'll make it available to him for insurance purposes or legal purposes because hopefully my GoPro caught that, and hopefully uh, it will be pretty obvious what happened. Now, I do have a pretty wide angle on this lens, so I don't know if it's going to be easy to see and I'm not shooting this in 4k so I won't have the ability to zoom in 
but the sun was in the right direction to get good video so we'll go back and I'll see if uh, I don't have my phone hooked up to the Goldwing right now so I can't make a phone call but I'm sure there's enough traffic where somebody will call the police and get the uh, ambulance. I hope the driver is okay. He looked like he was a little shaken up. But we'll, uh, I'm going to pull over here into this other neighborhood and see what we can do. I may have to turn off the GoPro just so I don't use up all the time and energy I'll walk around I'll just park my bike up here somewhere well, let's go see if I can maybe find a first responder I'm sure the police will show up and we'll see what we can uh, what we can get done over here you never know if this guy is injured is everybody okay okay yeah I was riding by right as it yeah as it happened and I I think I might have got it on camera but I'm not sure I know you're shaking up are you you okay I just wanted to let you know I've got this on camera I was riding behind when this happened. If you want, I'll give you my email address okay. or my phone number. And if you need this video for any reason, let me know. Okay, thank you. Sure. Thanks, sir. Chris. Chris? I'm sorry, I should have put that in there. Okay, thank you. You bet. I you. Okay, I hope, hope everything's okay. Just got out of the shop yesterday. Oh no. Uh, okay, we'll take care. Okay, well I did my good deed for the day, I hope. Hope I didn't come to, back to bite me. I never know. You never know when you get involved what's going to happen. I, honestly, I didn't actually see it. I heard it before I saw it. I think I was looking to my left. And I did not actually see it happen until I heard the sound. That guy was not as shook up as I would have been, I'll tell you that. I'm sure he's in shock. Said he just got his car out of the shop yesterday. So. The one time I did have my GoPro running at an opportune time to see something like that happen I wish now and maybe this is a good excuse to start videotaping everything in 4k because for those of you that don't know if the video is in 4k you can crop it and zoom in up to really double 200 percent without losing any real uh, clarity or resolution but he does appear to be okay uh, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be as far as him being injured I didn't even see any blood or anything so I, I think he's probably okay so I, that's the drama for today I don't think I can top that I think I'm just going to say goodbye and I'll see you on the next video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. You just never know what's going to happen at Cruise Man's Garage.